Boy, 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 junkguysdfw.net in the house. The wifey's staring at me. My dog's staring at me. The dog's right there staring at me. Like, you, what do we got? We got problems or something? But I'm going to tell you. One thing I do want to do in this video is tell you the top 10 excuses that a junk removal owner will use so he will be better and feel better about himself, okay? Because this is... I think I I did a pretty controversial video last yesterday morning, right? And I'm off. I am totally off today. Totally off today. I'm not working yesterday. I did one job on the schedule. I had six on the schedule. I gave them to Orson. I gave them to my son. But today, I only had two jobs on the schedule. I'm going to tell you how many of those jobs we've done. It's 1025. Zero. So the fridges in DeSoto aren't getting picked up. The mini dumpster drop off in, in uh, um, uh, McKinney's not dang, dropped off. It, we're just fucked today. Oh, man. So those are my excuses. But what are the most excuses that you hear in Junk Rebel? These are the top 20 excuses, the top 20 excuses in Junk Removal. All right. Number one. Oh, I don't have any time to post on social media. That's just me. I come home. I'm tired. I'm, and I don't have any time. You know what, dude? Thank you. You know what? You shouldn't be in business. You shouldn't be in business. If you don't have the time to post content, which is the realistic way to get ranked on Google, then you know what? Maybe you should be my mailman because in a few years, you'll be pumping my gas, okay? Number two, oh, I don't make any money. Oh, man, I don't have any money. I, I can't do this business. Oh, is it probably because you finance every aspect of your business? You literally finance your truck. You finance your trailer. You finance your cloned. You look. You did everything wrong that's in this business. You complicated by financing everything. You even finance your phone system. And I'm going to get to that one because that's another one. Why? You complicated this business. This is you showing up at a job and then actually doing the job. It's trash. It is trash. It is nothing. You're not going to an orthodontist. Your wife's not putting up her legs and they're checking if she's a gynecologist. Listen, bro, this is trash. Do not complicate this stuff. Okay. Yeah, you heard me, woman. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get details because I'm trying to get my things across. Okay. Ugh. Number three. Oh, my SEO company is just not bringing me in the work. Oh, is it maybe because you're damn lazy? Is that it, man? Come on, guys. As many videos I got out there, clap, clap, clap. As I got out there, you're going to use that as an excuse. My SEO company is just not bringing me in the work, so that's why I'm not working. Yo, uh, motherfucker, let me tell you what's really going on. You're lazy. Uh, you don't want to post. So we already kind of got down that you're, you don't want to post anymore, right? So let's just put that down. And now your SEO company that you hire, that you finance your truck, you finance your trailer, you finance your phone system, and now you you went out and subcontract your SEO company and it's not working. Well, guess what? Hey, I'm your SEO company. Motherfucker, you hire us. They don't put a gun in your head. You do it because you chose to. Number four, well, uh, you know, I was making so much motherfucking money, bro. You know what I mean? I'm like raking in the money. Uh, I just sold my business. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yo, man, you know, I'm making all this cash flow in, you know, bro. And I decided to step back, you know, like back, clack, clack, clack. You know, I stand back and I sold my business. Uh, excuse me, you didn't. You went out of business. Don't come up here with these stupid ass excuses that you sold your business. In reality, you're not good with money. Your business sucks. You did no social media. You financed everything. And guess what? You hired an SEO company. You went out of business. But oh, oh, I'm a YouTuber, or YouTuber influencer. I'm an influence. I've been posting all these videos. And I don't want to see my fellow junkers see me go down. So I got an idea. Let's say that... uh. Uh, I sold my business. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, whatever, Iron Claw motherfuckers. Get out of here, man, you hick. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, number five, my website is not bringing me any customers. This is my cricket sound. Cricket, 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 cricket. That's exactly what you did to your website. 
Nothing. You did absolutely nothing to influence your website. You did no social media. You didn't get off the fucking couch. You came home and said, damn, honey. Yo, baby, get those briskets up. Let's do this. You did nothing. You didn't come on the computer and do a video on a daily basis like I have. Maybe the 4,192 videos that I have on YouTube. You decided to do nothing like that. What you did is you said, oh, my, my website is not bringing me any customers. Listen, guys, I could tell you something. If I build anybody a website, it is an absolute brick until I send information to it, until I massage the back of this. That's how it works. You just can't put a website out there and it's going to magically... Bro, it doesn't work like that. What do you think I am, Chris Angel? I can't put any magic on this motherfucker. Let, number six, okay? The junk removal market is saturated with competition. Oh, my God. Oh, my. If I got to hear this one more time. Hey, Lewis, Lewis, let me tell me something. Let me get Lewis over here, okay? Maybe he can help me out right here really fast because this is my SEO. Yo, honey, can you fix this? Can you fix this? All right. My, will you come over here and fix this? This motherfucker fell off. Honey, get that thing. Hey, the dog's going to get it. Hand me that. Get over here and hand me that. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. The market is saturated. No, you're just not competitive. You know, this reminds me of this team that we played in flag football. Some lazy, what are you laughing about? Some lazy ass motherfuckers decided to play a very competitive team. We had, it was an eight on eight team. And out of the eight on eight, I have six motherfuckers on my team that are competitive. And the other team's like, uh, we just, you know, we just decided to do this on the side. Don't play flag football. Don't do it. Put that up there, baby. Will you fix this? Babe, will you fix this? Uh, okay. This is not, this is not something that is, you know, I just don't get people. This is a competitive business. The market is not saturated. You're just not a competitive person, bro. You're just not competitive. Maybe you should go fly a kite. Work at Walmart. Every old person, you notice that? Every old person works at Walmart. Go do that. Go do that. Don't go into junk removal. Just stop doing that, okay? <sighs> the Google Ads market is dollar for dollar. Number seven. Google Ads is dollar for dollar. Well, yeah, you should have known that. Google Ads is very difficult. Hey, but, hey, wait a minute. I'm, I'm Lewis. I'll help you out. Just hire me, and I'll do your Google Ads. Don't worry about anything else. I'll take care of business, and you will be a zillionaire. Well, shit, you'll be a quadrillionaire, dude. Come on, bro. Fuck. Google Ads is for smart people. It's for people that are educated and know how to run Google Ads. You got into Google ad, Google ad, and you're dollar for dollar in this business. Are you recording me? Damn, girl. <laughs> you know I can't stop. The thing about it is that people think Google ads is an easy business. It's hard. Google ads, running ads is difficult. We made it even more difficult by making the word junk removal rank. Junk removal is not even the most popular word. It's trash pickup. Everybody knows that, but everybody goes on to junk removal. So when I started 16 years ago, there was no existence of Google ads. As the years went on, this thing called Google ads showed up, okay? These six Facebook ads showed up. And then the word Google was costing about maybe two bucks, maybe a dollar. The word junk removal was $2. And now it's what, 50, 60, 70? Why? Uh, I'm going to let y'all take a guess. You. We did it to ourselves. That word is dollar for dollar, okay? It's hard to run Google Ads. Don't do it. And if you get in it, you give me that excuse. Oh, you know, I don't have any time to post on social media. Well, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. Just hire me. Get the heck out of here, man. Everybody can do this by themselves, okay? Number eight, my business is 100% organic. I'm going to tell you something. I don't do anything. Uh, why did I just see one of your Facebook posts? Uh, like you boosted your post. Oh, well, other than that. Yeah. I mean, I do that. Yeah. Mom, but I'm a hundred percent organic, right? I don't do anything else. Um, didn't I just see a street sign on the side of the road? So you spend money on that? No, no, it's okay. I mean, I'm still 100% organic. You know, I don't do anything that, well, I just Googled your business and your sponsored ad on the first page of Google. 
Well, other than those three, I'm still organic. Bull crap. Get out of here, guys. This is if you're not organic, you're not organic. If you're buying ads, just say you're buying ads. Don't be tripping and try to make yourself feel better. While you're at it, why don't you just hire somebody to do it? Like me. I'm Lewis and I'll do your job for you. I'll take care of everything. God, Jesus Christ. All right. Number we're at number nine. Uh <laughs> Hey, guys, I'll be honest with you. This is way more than I expected. Everything's heavy. It's gross. It's nasty. Bed bugs. I saw a roach the other day, and a rat went right between my legs. Well, well, I'm sorry, man. This is called a junk removal business. You're in the wrong business. So I saw some dude's video yeah, called Free Space. I don't give a fuck about these guys, okay? They're called Free Space. They're out of California. His top five reasons why he went out of business, one of them was because he couldn't deal with with the rats and the grossness. What the, you hear that? I'm serious, he said that in the video. I was like, bro, bro what? Uh, just be glad you're not a roofer and you're allergic to fucking shingles. How about that? Dude, get out of here, bro. I'm glad you went out of business. Go worry about something else. Number 10, oh man, you know that company, that CRM company, they stole my website. No, I didn't. No, bro, you did steal my website. No, I didn't. All I told you was give me the passwords and all the information. I would give it right back to you. Bro, they stole my password, bro. They put my website. Now my website's gone. No, dude. You know what? Whose problem this is? This is not my boy. Lewis. This is not his problem. This is your problem for hiring a company like that. I hear these excuses all the time that people, let me get this shit out of here, that people get their website stolen. Okay, I hear this all the time. Why? Because they hired a shady ass CRM kid. We ain't shady. We're legit. They hired a shady company. And that's what happens. They take over your passwords. They take over your website. And that's what happens. Okay. Number uh, 11. Well, man, I got into this business, but man, I just, now that I realize I don't have any time for it. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, when you go and you work at uh, another place, let, let's just say you go work for AT&T, AT &T, or let's say you go work for uh, you know, somebody like Metro PCS, or maybe you just work at McDonald's. Is that what you tell your boss? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I got in this way too deep. I didn't think you had to work for this. You don't do that. This business is a tough business, just like any other business. Sitting at home, Answering the phones is a tough business if that's what you decide to do. You eventually will find an excuse to make it a tough business, okay? I don't have any time for this business, man. This sounds like that dude free space. The, uh, the guy's like, well, we just found out and got into it not thinking that we had to do all this work. Oh, boy. I'm going to tell you, man. I'm going to tell you. Guys, uh, say, hey, Sylvania, what's up? If you want to have a, go ahead and uh, put something in the chat and give me an excuse. Give me an excuse that you keep on hearing these junk removal businesses. If you have an excuse that you can put down there, post me a comment. I'll be glad to re uh, say it because right now, I'm just going off right now. So it really doesn't matter. Number 12. Oh, bro. You know, uh, hell, I'd love to make money, but the crackheads are taking all the money, man. The crackheads are doing. Let me tell you something about crackhead. They don't own a phone. They're smoking crack all the time, and that's all you need to know, okay? The crackheads aren't taking the business. You're uncompetitive. You're not competitive, and your prices are not crackhead prices. Do the crackheads take business? Yes, but your prices are too high, and they're being reasonable. That's all it is. You're too expensive, and they're reasonable, and that's why you say, oh, the crackheads are taking my business. No, it isn't, dude. You're too fucking expensive. You got into this business, okay? You just started this business, and now you're Neiman Marcus. Bro, be a, don't be mean Neiman Marcus. Be Target. I'm Walmart. Be Target. But don't jump, and you're jumping right over Kohl's. You're jumping right over fucking JC Penney's, and you're going to be Neiman Marcus in this business. Don't do that. Uh, but the crackheads are still, no, it's not. You're too expensive. That's the problem, okay? Number tw 13, number 13. Oh, man, you know, I would have more business, but the competitor gave me a bad review. <laughs> if I got to really hear this shit again, man, I hear this every time I talk to you. Oh, the competitors are giving me bad reviews. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're not giving you a bad review. You gave bad service. Listen, when I get a review, you know what I do? 
and move on to the next customer. Hello, the sun's going to come up tomorrow. Yeah, I don't care. If I get a bad review, you know what? As a matter of fact, go to my page, my website, pay, my Google My Business page, and look how many reviews I care. This is how much I care about Google reviews. I don't. I don't lose any sleep. I don't care. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, number 14, my competitor keeps on taking my illegal signs that I'm putting out there. Well, let me think about that. I'm illegal, legally putting out signs. I guess anybody can take them. As a matter of fact, I'll admit, I'm going to take your signs. Why? Because I do it for sport. Okay. The same reason that someone gets in their F-250, jumps back there with two guys with shotguns and goes shoot some doves. The same reason. Doves are beautiful animals. But you know what? They shoot them. Why? For sport. Well, I'll jump out of my truck, run over and grab a sign. And you know what? Why I'm doing it? For sport. That's why I'm doing it. Okay. That's why I'm doing it. Now, next thing. Now we got a, qu a question here about a guy named Carson Alexander. These crackheads are out here doing fridge for $45. How do you compete with that? I can't do in business. It makes me want to <laughs> crack. <laughs> Motherfucker. I hate Carson. I hate him. All right. Great one, great one Carson. Good one. Touche. Uh, number 15. Uh, I only do the. Oh, <laughs> you know what? This one's not so bad. Hey, I only do this on the weekend. How can I grow my business? Well, let me think. You're doing it two days out of the week. There's seven days. Maybe you could do three days, right? Come on, guys. You're only doing this on the weekend. There's nothing wrong with it because maybe Monday to Friday you have another business or you have another job, and that's great. You're making money at your, and then you're dabbing in this business. There's nothing wrong with it, but I keep on hearing that excuse. Hey, I want to grow my business. I'm only doing this on the weekend. Well, come on. Maybe you shouldn't be doing this on the weekend, all right? Maybe I sh you should be doing this full time. I don't know, man. Number 16, I don't need a mentor. I can do this business all by myself, even though I don't understand this business. I'll do it all. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need YouTube videos. Fuck this. I don't need mentors. Screw this. I can do this all by myself. My phone rings all day. Here's my phone, as a matter of fact, and it's ringing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Just... Get a mentor. Get someone that you can listen to. Get someone that will give you advice that's been doing this for, what I don't know, 13 years, mom, 14 years, maybe 15 years, maybe 16 years like this idiot has picking up trash. Come on, dude. Get a mentor. It helps you out. Get all that pride and all that ego. Oh, I'm, by the way, I'm going to lay down here. Uh, all of California. Get all those California junk removals companies and tell them, hey, guys, it's an ego problem you'll have. Yes, y'all are greedy in California. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm not going to California any day now, and I'm not making friends with California people. I don't give a fuck about California junk removal company. And I'll be honest with you, I'm in Texas. Fuck y'all. We're in Texas. We do business in Texas. I don't care about y'all. Y'all do nothing for me. But I will tell you something. Your culture is fucked up. Why do you think your own people are moving to Texas? Okay? Y'all are greedy. Your culture is weird, bro. And we don't take that shit. So tell your cousins and your compadres and your brothers and sisters, we don't need you here in Texas. Don't fuck with Texas. Okay? Number 14. Let's see. Uh, number 15, let me see. My competitor keeps on taking my sign. Number 16, oh, number 17. We got three more, three more. Number 17, I purchased all this marketing material and it brought me nothing, okay? And I just don't understand all this stuff. You know what, bro? I'm gonna tell you something. You bought all this marketing material. You went and got yourself a mentor, right? You got yourself someone that sells you SEO. Hey, yo, I'll do the difference right here. I'm from Canada. I'm about six foot nine, and I'll do all the work for you, brother. Trust me, just spend $5,000 with me, and I'll give you $5,001 back. Bro, come on, man. You're going to get what you put into the business. I'm going to tell you something. If you're lazy in this business, that's exactly what you're going to get, laziness out of this business. If you put in hard work into this business, you'll get the hard work back. It will pay off, okay? It will pay off. And I'm going to tell you, this video is not going to go really well with a lot of people, okay? I know that, but I know my intentions. My intentions are for this video to help you out. I'm here to help you out. You think somebody else is going to do this? You think another 
junk removal entrepreneur will ever do a video with like this? No. Anybody who's in junk removal will never have the boss do a video like this. And I'm going to tell you why. They don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to grow in this business. Stop making these fucking excuses and get to work. Hard work will always pay you off. Always, no matter what you do, hard work is number one, okay? I want to tell you that. But I've hired this marketing company and they're not doing the work for me. Bro, you got to do the work yourself too, you know? Tough love, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fred Mendoza, just add some content to your website and see what happens. Byron, I'm just spitting the truth. Hard work pays off. What do you want me to do, guys? Hey, I love y'all out there, man. Look, see that? Justin Bieber, this bitch. Right? Justin Bieber did that? Huh? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is bitch. I'm a Swifty. Is it Swifty or Swift Eye? I don't know, man. Fuck. All right, guys. I appreciate your boss. Thank you. Hey, appreciate that. All right, number 18. Oh, man. <laughs> Here's one. My Google, my phone, my Google, my business suspended, and I have no idea. I have no jobs anymore, bro. Here's what I keep on telling people. You put your eggs all in that basket of thumbtack. You put that those eggs all into that. Well, now we're dealing with Easter eggs, right? So I'll just say Easter because it's tomorrow, right? You put all those Easter eggs into that basket of Google My Business. And now that they've suspended your account, guess how much jobs you're getting? I got to angle it. There's my eye. You got nothing. You put all this money into that basket, these Easter egg basket, right? And you get nothing back because they suspended your account. Whose choice was that? It was your choice. It was your decision. You decided not to do anything else and just get comfortable in this land of the World Wide Web, which there's, there's everything, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all this stuff. But you decided to go a path that rarely a lot of people do. You got your account suspended, and now your business is shut down. Why? Because you're lazy, bro. You're lazy. Get off off your ass and do a little SEO. Get off off your ass and do some hard work. Do something. I, I, I don't get these. These people call me all the time. I try to be so nice and give advice to everybody, but I'm hoping you see this video before you call me and don't give me this shitty as this, these top 20, which I put top 10, excuse me, but these top 20. All right. Number 19, two more, 19 and 20. Here we go. Number 19, I don't know what to do when I started junk removal business. Well, I'm going to tell you, there are people out there like me that try to help out other people. I don't charge. I'm not charging for shit. There are videos out there that will help out. I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm going to just go out on the limb and say I have over a thousand videos on helping you how to build content and how to stay in business. As a matter of fact, a thousand and one, this video. Because this video is to help motivate the junk removal community, except all those motherfuckers in California that I cannot deal with. All those ego blasted people in California, bro. I don't want to deal with those people, okay? Let them go and fall off the ocean. When that earthquake 8.9 hits and the whole San Andreas, they're just going to fall in the ocean. You know what? We don't care about those junk removal companies with those egos out there, okay? I'm talking about right now, okay? Right here. You don't know how to start a business. Why? You don't have an internet. 99.9 .9 of the United States has internet. Borrowing it. Go to the library. Find out who and how to run a business like this and get that information. It's not that hard. You will find out there are a lot of people. Don't call anybody in California. But you will find out there are a lot of people that will help you out. Okay? A lot of people. Number 20. I don't have the time or can't get off work to go to a summit in Dallas. Why? Well, it's just too cheap. And you can imagine what they're going to be selling there, right? Oh, I don't want to do that, right? Hey, uh, forget those guys, you know what I mean? Or or maybe it's too expensive because $150, <laughs> $150, going to break my bank. That going to break my bank, right? Why are you charging $150 to go to a summit and to learn something? Well, guys, you see, a lot of people don't realize I was selling a shitload of stuff. I had my books come out. I had my books. I had these visors I was selling. Uh, my books about uh, how to care about junk removal. Uh, my other section, volume two, the 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 involvement 
of the evolving of junk removal. And they were like $19.99 a piece, right? And then if you walked in where you're selling these bands right here, these bands right here, they say, oh, you can't see it. They say junk removal, sir. These were like $250 a piece. So I was selling everything. And then when you go in there, if you sat down, there was a fee. We had a fee. How much was the fee for sitting down at my place, Mom? What, 25 bucks a head? Don't, don't include you? Okay. I, I, I respect that. I respect that, babe. There is so much that I did not charge for, okay? You don't understand. This was to help the community out, okay? And I'm going to tell you, there are people out there that don't want to help the community out. They want to take this business and make it and put it in the back and just, just forget about people. I have a friend, okay, that called up a person and asked for advice. And this guy, this ego guy had a fucking problem. So he's out of Phoenix, I think. It's called Happy Junk Removal. This guy named John didn't want to help out a guy that I know. And he told me about it. I'm like, you know what, dude? Go to California and stay in California, Happy Junk Removal. I don't care. Bro, I'm not going to meet you ever. And I pass by you. If you want to say something, I'm right here. But listen, bro, this person is the kind of people we don't need in this industry. We need people that will help out to grow this business. And if you're going to go ignore another business owner, first of all, you have fucking problems. You're way too competitive in this business. You don't want to help people out, which is weird. You're probably from Cali. I have no idea where business is anyway. And I've never looked up this guy, but I'm going to tell him, oh, wait, can we do like you do? And with helping he ignore, oh my God. This dude, whoa, I just looked at the messages right there. Has anybody had problems with this guy? Supposedly, and, and let me tell you something moving forward. Don't call this guy. He knows nothing about junk removal, okay? Do not call this dude. He is a nobody, and he will continue to be a nobody in this industry. As a person, he might be a great person, and he might be really caring and really loving. And me and him, we might be like this. But in junk removal, fuck you. OK, he does not hear to be your friend in junk removal. And you know what I say to him? Don't don't be his friend. Don't ask. Has he been around for 16 years like I have moving forward? I don't think so. Done. Done. OK, you don't have time to come and learn to Dallas, spend at least some money to come down here and let me host and show you what junk removal is. Then you know what? You're not serious about junk removal. And there was one person. One person that came out of California. One person, okay? No, no. What he did, you're right, Carson. What he did, he didn't forget where he came from. He forgot where he's from. He made a little money. He made like some little change, right? And now he forgot because he's better than anybody. And I'm going to tell you something. If you're out there, John, I run circles around your business. You are nobody to me, bro. You are nobody, okay? Okay. You will be done in a few years, okay? Your business is not a caliber business. Why? Because of the character of the person that you are. I'm here to help this community, and you're not here to help anybody, bro. That's why, okay? That's, and I'm just speaking the truth, guys. And you know what? If you want to call me, bro, 214-777-3095. Anytime, any day. There are people that are haters in this business, and you need to stay away from those people, okay? Don't listen to those people. Start this business, get into this business, and get ready to work hard, okay? Don't be asking somebody who's been doing this for five or six years because we know damn sure he hasn't been doing it for 16 years, okay? And if somebody else has a problem, okay, with me working on my truck all day, every day, and not hiring employees, well, guess what, guys? While you're sitting there bitching and typing in stuff that I'm working on my truck, I'm in my truck. You're at home on Facebook. Does that make sense? You're at home on Facebook and I'm working on my truck and I'm the owner and I have a headquarters and I have four trucks and I have 10 trailers on my property. I even have a Humvee that I'll get stuck on a hill anytime I want that has my logos on it at my headquarters in Dallas. Okay. So you want to say something? There you go. Okay. What's up? What's up, English man? Or what's up, man? All right, guys. Anyway, those are the top 20 excuses in junk removal. Me and my hot wife. We're going to go eat some breakfast. So I'll talk to you later. I'm out. Peace, guys. Enjoy the video.